Hello, my people. Welcome back to another quick update on the petition tribunal case. So Nigerian presidential election tribunal have decided to consider the request made by PDP and the Labour Party requesting for a live broadcast of the presidential election proceedings. Meanwhile, the tribunal adjoins Peter Obi's petition against Tinibu's election victory till May 17. More updates from Channels TV. The Labour Party and its presidential candidate, Mr. Peter Obi, are calling for a live broadcast of the proceedings of the presidential election petition tribunal. Counsel to the party and Mr. Obi, uh, Mr. Levy Uzoku, made the request at the pre-hearing session on their petitions challenging the election of the presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress, Mr. Bola Tinubu. Well, during today's proceedings, the Action People's Party also withdrew its petition against the president-elect. Our correspondent, Emanuela Ekele, reports. Lawyers and some members of the public, including the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi, are back in court for the continuation of the pre-hearing session of the presidential election petitions. The five-man panel of justices started the day's proceedings with a petition of the Action People's Party, who have applied to withdraw the suit. Chairman of the panel, Justice Haruna Samani, dismissed the suit after the respondents had no objection and subsequently adjourned the session for a few hours. As a lawyer, I was prepared to take up this matter to the last minute of it. But things change. The brief is not mine. The brief is that of my client. Like one of the uh, pressmen asked me two days ago, would you want to withdraw the petition? My answer was no. However, if I have the instructions of my client to do otherwise, I wouldn't say no to that. When the court reconvened, attention turned to the petition of the Labour Party and its presidential candidate, Mr. Peter Ubi. However, the lead counsel informed the court that all the parties met and agreed to ask for an adjournment to enable them file and exchange necessary legal documents and consolidate on processes filed and those yet to be filed. He told the court that there were many processes and motions yet to be filed and an adjournment will enable an expeditious hearing and determination of the case. Consequently, Justice Samani granted the request for a week's adjournment, directing the parties to identify the serious issues for determination. However, counsel to Mr. Peter Obi informs journalists that they have filed an application asking for live coverage of court proceedings. We are asking that the Honorable Court should allow live streaming and broadcasting of the proceedings of the court from day to day, whenever the, the court is sitting. Because um, it was something introduced by the colonial masters, but they have moved on, and we are still in the, in the ancient uh, age. So we feel that we should depart from that and adopt modernity, because some African countries are now live streaming their proceedings. I don't see why Nigeria shouldn't. The Action People's Party has told the line of the Action Alliance, which withdrew its petition before the presidential election court sitting here in Abuja. Now this changes the complexion of the case as the numbers of petitioners have dropped from five to three, leaving the PDP, the Labour Party and the APM challenging the election of the present elect, Bolad Ahmed Sinobu. Emanuela Ekele, Channels Television News.